How are we doing, everybody? Got a quick little truck update, as well as just a quick little Thursday update, and a couple of upcoming videos. First thing, you can see that I did a little customization. Put the 302 high performance fender badges on. Got those from NPD Auto Parts. Throw a link to those in the description. Now I'm not sure exactly what they're what car they're from, but I think they add a nice little touch of class to it. Another thing. Last Sunday was not a very good day for me. I was driving and I hear a little pop and I look up. And I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but right in the center of the frame, right at my right at my fingertip. Get a nice divot right in the windshield, driver's side, right at eye level. My best guess is that a little stone from somebody in front of me came up and hit the windshield. And I also had looked over passenger side when I was driving, and I noticed that I've got a nice big L-shaped crack right where my finger is. Now luckily on both the truck and on the Escape I've got glass coverage. So Saturday between 12 and 5 safe light coming out they're gonna put a windshield in the truck for me. And also since this windshield is 20 years old, it's pretty pitted and hard to see out of, even when it's clean. So, it'll be nice to have a nice brand new windshield. Now, I also did have a little bit of trouble, like I said, on Sunday, too. Uh, check engine light came on. Luckily, I had my scan tool with me. Pulled the codes. And P0401 which is EGR insufficient flow detected. Now, I've already troubleshot it and I've got the part to repair it. However, you guys will have to wait for that repair video. And also, Saturday is the open house where I work. I'll be trying to get some video of that. And even better news, on Saturday, that spare tire, that tire right there, which I actually got with my parts donor truck, I'm having mounted on this rim right here, so I will finally have a spare tire for the truck. Now, the tire that is on that rim is actually no good. Where the yellow mark is, that's a nasty leak in the sidewall, and so, as you know, you can't repair a sidewall of a tire. So, it'll be nice that I'll have a nice spare tire. So, like I said, I have a couple upcoming videos which will be the open house at work and also repairing that PO401 EGR insufficient flow detected code. So, thanks for watching guys. And hopefully be back to our 4x4 conversion here soon. Just been busy with taking care of some other stuff. And also my mom and dad, they're getting busy at their place. So hopefully I can get the, at least get the parts donor truck apart here within the next couple of weeks. Now we are going to be taking a little bit different direction on converting the truck which is actually we're going to get the transmission, transfer case and rear drive shaft in first then you know get it driving everything and then probably you know next fall winter is when we'll be putting the front axle in so again thanks for watching guys bye